Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Hot Spine 4. I'm your host, Kelvin, for my stream series, in which I will be playing as Imperial Japan. So, Imperial Japan starts in a rather precarious situation. We uh, have a severe lack of oil, of which I've changed from importing from the United States to importing from the Soviet Union. And we start with 26 civilian factories. I've already done some initial setup here because I'm actually streaming this. And we'll be responding to the chat. Uh, as we go. So if I'm talking to someone who doesn't seem to be here, that's why. And we do start with at least, you know, a decent number of naval dockyards, which are barely running due to a lack of oil. And uh, we at least have some basic production of motorized and some planes, at least for now. Uh, I've uh, We've pumped up production of infantry weapons, which is probably going to be good. Uh, and... We should have naval superiority, or air superiority, sorry, so some extra bombers may not be a terrible idea for what few we can get. And I'm going to promote their priority over the fighters. 4.33 a year. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a bad sum up of our entire industrial capacity right now. That said, we do start with four research slots because for once we are a major power. So... Let's see, things we'll want. We'll want support equipment, one. Need some machine guns, yo. Logistics company is going to be hugely important, but I don't have enough space for that right now. Because I need mechanical engineering. And, oh god, do I need industry. We at least start with synthetic oil experiments. That's excellent. Might be able to consider that, then. Might be able to consider it. Now... We have uh, a wide variety of potential things that we can focus on. Everything from spiritual mobilization to imperial austerity to industrial effort, which is one of the options I've considered. And just straight up China war. Like, we can do this in 140 days. And pretty much, I'm just going to do it. In every, in every conceivable scenario, I've always rushed more civilian factories out of my focuses. But, due to the situation, and uh, the way things are set up right now, I'm actually not going to. Alright, well we do have a lot of divisions that we can definitely get to work with. Yeah, we need, as it turns out, actually 12,000 guns. This deficit, um... How long will this deficit last, though? Shortage will last for 140... So basically, the 10 days before we go to war with China, or 10 days after we go to war with China, we will have enough guns for everybody. Alright. I think that's acceptable. I don't know about you guys. I think that's pretty good, though. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get everyone off the mainland. And we're going to need to start breaking up our navy into operations. Search and destroy. You guys will move to the LOC. Mm, you're not an actual fleet, you're a submarine fleet, but... You guys will do the East China Sea. And all three of you guys will just go down here to the South China Sea. Yeah. Good. Alright, so this will give us pretty good operations off the coast. Now, where are our airplanes stored? Okay, we have a decent amount. A lot of fighters and tank bombers. Uh, we're obviously going to be moving in... Okay, you know what? Just assign all. Uh, yeah, so we can't actually get everyone to Northern China. We have to rebase them by airfield, I I'd assume. Yeah. Okay, so... We'll rebase everyone there.
Which you can hold, right? Yes. Now, assign everyone we can. Close air support is going to be assigned to close air support. Unsurprising to anyone. Sure, naval strike. Close air support. Air superiority. Close air support. Air superiority. Good. Alright. Now. You guys there. Like I said, I'm not going to worry be worrying about to worrying about um, China being able to actually strike at my mainland, so I'm gonna be moving my troops down he down here to help uh, refortify and everything. We are definitely going to have naval superiority over China, that is for sure. I have not a single doubt in my mind of that. So I'm gonna do a gambit and just leave it open. All right. Now, let's, uh, sum up you guys. Here's 17, 19, 23, 24. There we are. Army group one. All right, now, we're going to be pretty much having to go all in on uh, on China because of the strat. So, since we're six pooling, we're going all in. 20 divisions? Good. We have enough for a second army group then. And you're already in the first army group. All right. So, you guys will cover that front line. Now, what commanders do we have, and what are they capable of? Well, we have good offensive doctrine, which might be helpful. So, river attack. That's definitely possible. Surprisingly, the Chinese have chosen to back down following the skirmish of the Marco Polo Brins Bridge, and Bridge. They understand that angering us car carries a steep price and have agreed to extensive territorial concessions and include Beijing and its surrounding regions. Little by little, China's becoming ours. The war will have to wait. Alright. I like the ch cut of China's jib. Not gonna lie. They, uh... They're rather uh, nice chaps out there, aren't they? <laughs> I, I almost feel bad now for warring them. <laughs> uh, I, I almost feel bad for warring them. Yeah, good start. Uh, we're still gonna do war with China. Like, by taking the Marco Polo Bridge instant this early, it's still the right call. Um, just some things have changed, slightly. It just means that we have a new front line. And your, your front line broke by that, so we'll have to reassign yours. There we go. I, I, I feel kind of bad for what I'm about to do to China, you know? Alright, wow, we have a lot of generals. Alright, sort by skill. So you have... You're pretty good. And with your river... Uh, river, that's not bad. I'm looking for hopefully, like, mountains and mountaineers and hills, though. Do we have any with uh, that? Fortress Buster. Not really helpful, I don't think. I'm pretty certain one thing the Chinese do not have... Is fortresses. Alright, so. Unfortunately, we have no one with river or mountain. That said, we do have some decent enough guys. The remilitarization of the Rhineland. No one is particularly surprised by this either. Alright. So, with my extra factories that I have received from China. Let's go. Extensive territorial concessions. Japanese and Chinese forces have skirmished conclusively over the strategic Marco Polo Bridge, located just southwest of Beijing. China has accepted full responsibility for this incident, forwarding an apology to Japan as well as an agreement to extensive territorial concessions. This has surprised many experts who predicted that the border tensions would erupt into a full-blown war. Does this mean lasting peace in Asia? This will satisfy us for now. 
You'll satisfy us for all of 70 days. <laughs> all right. So. You three uh, could stand to enter that army. And, yeah, we'll just assign you to the front line. All right. So we still have some fallback troops here, I believe. Yeah. I'm going to want them. They, uh, they have something else that they need to do for us. Where would we want to launch her? Well, the borders have changed. Do we need... To... Yeah, you know what? With the border being this much wider, I don't think we need to launch naval invasions. I think it's going to go just fine. I think, uh, I think it's going to go just fine. Alright, so did we uh, actually acquire any resources out of this? No. These provinces are practically worthless. Man, most of China itself is actually worthless. Shit, there's just nothing until we get to the Guangxi clique. Damn. Alright. Well then. So engineering finished. Uh, we could rush the next level of that. Yeah, that's 38. So that's still way too far away. Uh, we're going to start researching, I think, superior firepower. Because fuck the grand battle plan doctrine. Not a fan of trench warfare. Alright. So. I think, uh, I think we're going to be okay. It's definitely helpful that China decided to actually give us uh, give us the land, though it's not going to save them in the end. Right. I mean, let's see. I'm actually going to ditch the uh, import of oil. It's going to hurt us, but it is going to help us pump out some more civilian factories in the early game. That matters a lot. The Spanish Civil War. What will this mean for Spain? Okay. Well, uh... I had reserves around here, right? Uh, is there anyone else? I, I, I've got to have some more. Well, they're on the islands out here. Ah, there's just four, four here. Perfect. Uh, well, I've got some good news for nationalist Spain. I will send aid. Send. Mm -hmm. We will send aid to the Spanish. Alright, so. Yeah, we're with China. Uh, let's see. Silent workhorse. We is it like we're since we're already at partial mobilization? Like it, it's concerning if I need to go to full mobilization or anything. I'm not sure. Also, get a general on this. All right, we're gonna make the uh, northern cut here along the coast. This was a late start to the Civil War, so it's going to be hard to say as to whether or not there will be a victory, but we will do our best. War with China. All right. Well, I can't both hold... Um... a war with China and the Spanish Civil War at the same time and have enough focus for both. So, we're going to have to give that one over to the AI and just hope for the best. Good luck out there. Uh, one of the following is true. Yep. The German Reich must approve the agreement. Yeah. Well, we're going to not do that. I think now that we have the war with China. Uh, we're going to declare war and annex Shanghai. Of which nationalist China appears to not be interested in protecting. Well, that's good. 
Uh, wait, which which group are you? Okay, so, yeah, you guys. I uh, need an offensive line over here. There you go. And you're green to go. Yeah. If I can at all help it, I'd much prefer to go to war with the uh, Chinese states one at a time. Yeah, let's begin work on these. We're gonna need a lot more industry where we're from. And finally, so we can modify the government, which... There, there's a lot we could do with this. Uh, I mean, army logistics could be huge. Like, just straight minus 8% division attrition. Yeah. That's, uh... That's really, really weird. Alright. Uh, or we could do... Limit exports to free trade. Which could stand to get us some resources. No, it really won't stand to get us any resources. Okay. Uh, well... I mean... It will improve our, uh... No, I don't think we need war economy now. Which is strange, coming from the fact we're at war. Instead, since we actually are going to need a lot of military staff, I'm going to get a silent workhorse. He's going to get us uh, more political power. To Hebi. Why were they returned home? Oh, we can only send volunteer forces while at peace. Okay. So, thus our volunteers could not do anything. Shanghai. Ah, I see, but the communist Chinese... Oh, no, the Soviet Union is sending them aid. I see, then. Alright. Well, I'm pretty certain that's their only victory point, so... It's gonna actually be rather hard. Alright. And you guys, I want a offensive line here. Go. That will probably just close in and finish. There we go. Alright. Go on them now. No rest, no recovery for their forces. Because that's pr probably their only victory point. Seriously, we just need to kill it. Low supply. Fucking NKVD. Damn elite training. Yeah. Done. Alright. So. Uh, let's see. There appears to be, as far as I can tell, uh... Okay, so yeah, that expires May 20th. 1938. So we got a while. Uh, I'm making an assumption when I do this. And I hate to make assumptions. Uh, one, you're, you guys fucked up the front line. Uh, so reassign the front line. But I'm going to assume that the Chinese and the Nationalists will stand together. Will they, though? No, they won't. The Chinese and the Nationalists will not stand together. It's too early. They haven't formed the Chinese United Front yet. And you know what? I can blitz them down before they do. I'm getting just a bit of, uh, bit of crazy in me eyes. Hmm. Ooh, whole extra military factory. Doing my best to build up a civilian economy here. Only have a few years to do it. Conquer focus. Send. Yeah. Alright. 
The offensive line. Ooh. Is the Guangxi border. All right. You guys are green to go. Slaughter the damn Chinese. I want no resistance. Left by the time we are through with them. Yeah. So it might take us a while to actually break through some of this, but we definitely can. Uh, I don't think we need to bother se severing the Sino-German ties particularly much. I don't think it's going to matter. At least the battles are off to a good start. Uh, air wings, speaking of. Yeah. We need to... Well... Assign all. Assign whatever we can. And, uh... Yeah. yeah. So at least we have some CAS, which will hopefully help us break through. All we have to do is make Nanjing now. Mm. Alright. Games of the 11th Olympiad. Yeah, so spiritual mobilization will be helpful. And imperial austerity will be extremely good. That means we can have less consumer factories. Oh, there we are. I see the warlords have in fact been united. Damn, I underestimated the Chinese. On the plus side, I don't ever have to subdue the warlords. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Let's uh, tear down the current frontage. Because we are clearly going to need a new set of front lines. Preferably before we're completely encircled. Unfortunately, I made an opening gambit, and it proved to be in poor design, I would say. I did not expect such unity from the Chinese. Let's try and hold. What the hell are you guys doing? I guess you guys are finishing everything you're doing, and then you're going to re, uh, reset. Well, how about this? Do I allow them to continue? Probably not. At least some troops are being moved around. No, you, you stay right the hell there. Hell no, no one's going over there. That's a suicide idea. That's encirclement waiting to happen. Alright. Like, on the other hand, it's an encirclement opportunity for us. Mm hmm. Then again, maybe not. We've got to be able to press through somewhere, right? If we can just cut them down. And here, we can encircle a bunch of them. Alright. So, this is obviously going to slow our offensive into China. Uh, although, I suppose saying that makes me just Captain Obvious, doesn't it? Alright. You guys join the front line. And try and hold da back the Chinese. Okay. So, we have enough to political power to modify the government again. Um, we the industrial effort.
Chief of Army. Man, we have jack shit for a Chief of Army. We have a specialist. Ugh. Alright. We're gonna need an expert in infantry, clearly. The war pick is correct here. No, you guys will launch a attack there. Because now they are surrounded. We're going to launch a many-pronged multi-front attack on that. And look to destroy the enemy. That not only will this shorten the front significantly, but uh, the destruction of five divisions is a damn good start for us against China. Alright. And unfortunately, the bog has happened. At least for now. Now that we uh, closed that encirclement, we might have enough troops to consider offensives elsewhere. We'll see. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, we're, we're not totally bogged down yet, but we're getting there, unfortunately. We are getting there. And uh, that's not good, to say the least. Yeah, we do not want to be bogged down. We're going to try and avoid it, but we'll do our best. Uh, so yeah, can't get there, lake in the way. Yeah, we can beat the Chinese in a one-on-one -on -one situation, or equal number situation. So I shouldn't be too afraid. Alright. I'm going to try and close up the uh, front here. Uh, can we assign one of you here instead and launch an attack with you? Start moving along the coast there. Alright. They are enforcing the inf reinforcing like hell in the Gobi Desert. Rather strange move on their part. Concentrate Industry 1. I like it. I like it a lot. Start researching Concentrate Industry 2. Because we will need it. We need all the industry we can get. Yeah, that's a lot of forces out in the Gobi Desert. Okay. So, the industrial effort's done. Don't care much for the uh, infrastructure effort, to be honest. Synthetic oil focus, yeah, we should probably go for the research. We're definitely going to be needing it. We are definitely going to be needing it. Because, right now... I'm focusing entirely on industry, but we are going to need to transition into not only air and naval, but land as well. We're going to need every tech. Oh, dear. We need all the techs. So we're getting a good offensive here. Alright, we're gonna ramp up, uh... Ramp up the AI aggression here. Include the plan. I want a full offensive. Alright. Pressure the Chinese, destroy as much equipment as possible, because you know what? They don't have- they don't have enough industry. To rearm themselves. If I can put enough goddamn pressure on them, they will just collapse. At least I hope they collapse. If they don't, well, I'm screwed. <laughs> uh, that said, we are starting to get at least uh, enough guns for ourselves that we can stop using basic infantry equipment. So maybe I shouldn't be laughing all that much at the Chinese. Alright. 
Yeah, I think we're definitely going to have to go down to logistics companies, though. We have 247 army experience right now. And uh, we at least have a potential stockpile of arms. Yeah, we have a whole lot of it. Bad news, considering we're still upgrading. The whole lot of it that we have is basic kits. Not the kind we want to be using at all. Alright. That said, gonna be uh, a lot of work. Of engineering reconnaissance. I want logistics and support artillery, among other things, added to these. It'll be a long way to uh, bring us into a new era, but we can do it. A united Asia will stand powerful. And, you know, we got other things we gotta do someday. Anyway, that's going to do it for the first episode, everyone. So, if you like what you saw here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, I've been your lovely, lovely host, Galvin. Signing off.